Hello and welcome to another update video about FET. Yeah, recent price increase um, from support into resistance, precisely actually what we normally want to see. Um, the rally was quite substantial though, and it was obviously to a degree news related. News related rallies often tend to result in, yeah, three wave structures and B wave tops. So at the moment I'm watching here for a potential, uh, for the price to revisit potentially that support zone down there, which starts at $2.42. So we've got $2.42, $2.22, $2.11, also $2.27 as next support levels. Let's see if the price um, gets there. But if we get another break above 350, which is the last high, then I, well, then I would assume it might actually, it might take the price to $4.72 in one go, or at least we would, at least we would be looking at a potential, um, yeah, five wave pattern because the, um, the move up was, let's say, strong enough to constitute three waves for now. So we can say wave one, wave two, wave three, we would have a wave four now and then one more high in a wave five. And that could mean the, let's say, further continuation to the upside, obviously, and that we've already seen the lowest point in the support region is always uh, the five wave structure we are looking for in Elliott wave. I think what is quite clear is that the latest rally was just in three waves. So I need to see five waves to be able to make an assessment that a larger degree, let's say, low was already formed in the support zone here. Until then, I think it's quite reasonable to assume that we might revisit that lower support area, possibly when Bitcoin starts its C wave as well. But uh, so I will take the resistance area of the chart when I keep the chart clean, um, but it's already quite a lot of levels we're looking at here. So let me, let me actually take them out as well. I mentioned them anyway. Um, what I want to highlight is, okay, we have three waves up and that would be at the moment, an ABC structure until the price proves something different. But the thing is, because of that potential, it might be reasonable for anybody who possibly entered here in the yellow support zone to take some partial profits. Maybe you did that already um, or you just move up your stop loss because there is a real risk or potential that the price dips back into the support region. Well, we might not, we, we might not you know, dip into it very much, we might only touch it. So you need to consider that. But in the very short term, it's possible that one more high forms um, and then we can call that a five wave move. Only then I can say that a low was probably in. Okay, so hopefully that that's clear. So what is the support level, micro support? So that's the micro support range that we can look at. Let me shift actually that to the right hand side. So that's purely a, an area. If broken to the downside, it would further confirm that the price hasn't bottomed yet. Okay, so if the price is bottomed, it should ideally hold above it. And that support area is between $3.01 and $2.75. Um, it's possible it's holding it. It hasn't broken it yet. So as long as we're holding 275, I have no confirmation that this C wave to the downside is unfolding. In, you know, in reality, this is a very, very messy corrective structure that's unfolding here. The microstructure isn't very clear. So I give my best to give you a, an idea of how the microstructure could unfold. There is a short term bearish scenario in which the price will test the lower support area again, A, B, C. I think in that scenario, the tactics should be quite clear. This is an area where accumulation could happen, okay? So it's an area at least where I would say it is reasonable to look for long entries. Anybody who already has an entry or found an entry, you can just manage risk. And if the price continues to rally, then it might be worth taking profits up there, around 472, which is the next uh, upside target. I think it's crystal clear. Um, and it's not so much a question of is it going up or down. It is a question of understanding the parameters and having a plan for each scenario. So 
I mean, ideally everybody is positioned because we already reached the support zone. Okay, we only touched it. Well, it dipped into it, but ideally everybody uh, who's been following this channel has a position because I've been talking about FET for <laughs> more than a year. Okay, so already in already in December 22. And I mean, there was enough time to accumulate here and there, whatever. So the tactics should be clear. Um, as we get to the next target, regular profit taking is, I think, reasonable. Um, and I only give you some ideas here. Anybody who entered here can take some partial profits because it might come down into the C wave again. And then it might be worth looking for accumulation opportunities here. I mean, that that's sort of, I mean, at the moment, we're sort of in the middle of nowhere, right? We are, we are between the next target, which is 472 and the larger support zone. And I've just given you just a range that helps us to distinguish between short-term bullish momentum and short-term bearish momentum. I think that's all we can do with this chart at the moment. Um, I don't see a great entry now. I think the, the entry is in the lower support region or was, and we should reach in the next move up in white wave three, $4.72 or higher. That's my update about um, FET. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.